What's your favorite song to play live? Period. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Probably Why Don't We Just Dance. That's just, it's such an easy song for me to sing. Um, It kind of encapsulates, you know, a lot of my range, and it's just a fun song. It just kind of sends a jolt of electricity through the crowd every time I, you know, start it, and it's just uh, it kind of takes the pressure off of me. So I don't feel like everybody's just kind of staring at me. Everybody's kind of <laughs> into it and they're dancing, and you know, it's just kind of a fun song. Okay, so wait, what's your least favorite? Like the hardest one, or one that you might not even play all the time? Um, that's a good question. I don't, I don't know if I would call it my least favorite, but uh, the the one that requires the most concentration for whatever reason is Hometown Girl. So <laughs> really, <laughs> there's a lot of high notes, a lot of high sustained notes in that song. It's, it's kind of brutal at times. Are you bringing the family with you uh, when you go on tour, or mm-hmm. have you been? Yeah, they they've uh, they're a big part of the Christmas tour, and um, they're going to be you know all over the Christmas stuff, and so uh, that's going to be fun. It's, it's exciting. So the songs that they're on, the song that they're on on the album, if and, they're and then some, yeah. <laughs> it, it, when they're on tour, do they come out on stage? Oh yeah, yeah. Like I say, oh, I bet they love it. Like I say, it's not just that song, but they're. They're on just about every other song, too. So, Dude, okay, so this is your first Christmas album ever. What was the final straw that was like, all right, all right, I'll do it? Um, there wasn't any twisting of my arm uh, for this. It was just, uh, you know, obviously I've been wanting to make this for my whole career, but it was just, you know, it's like I, I have, I've had to explain to people, it's like, you know, when you come to Nashville and, and you're looking for a record deal and trying to establish yourself, like, you're not thinking, man, I want to go to Nashville and make a Christmas record <laughs> or, or any, any other concept, you know, record. Um, okay, that and, makes sense. and so you want to come and, and establish yourself. You want to have hits, you want to sell records and, and like I say, become that household name. And, uh, and so that's what I've been, you know, th- that's been my priority for these last 20 years. And so I, I knew that the time would come where I would be able to make a Christmas record. And, and like I say, you have to have, kind of have the fan base for that. And um, this year just felt right. Uh, I had the time to do it, and I had plenty of ideas. I literally sat down back in January with my producer, Kenny Greenberg, and, and we sat there for probably three hours, and I just I threw so much stuff at him within that three hours that I think it kind of overwhelmed him because I, I expected him at the end of that three hours to say, okay, well, let's do this, 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 this. But he was like, "Can you put all that in the Dropbox folder and I'll and let me live with it for a few weeks?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, sure." <laughs> well, so, so yeah. So how long did you have? Were you holding on to the three originals that you wrote? Were, were those something that you wrote uh, during your career or uh, like recently? Well, the Melikaliki Makama Ohana I wrote back in 2013. Um, I didn't write that for any real purpose. I just you know it just kind of came out, and then. Uh, King size manger and what he's given me, I wrote, uh, I guess last year, or this year, uh, I I spent a little over a year writing towards this record. Uh, Mela, help me with this. <laughs> Mela Kaliki Maha Maohana. There you go. <laughs> um, inspired by your wife, kind of on a trip uh, you guys took together. Yeah, we we had taken a trip to uh, the Big Island of Hawaii, and um, I had bought a couple of ukuleles over there, and and just. Uh, had kind of immersed myself in that culture over there. And just when I came back home, you know, it was just, uh, for, for musicians and songwriters, you know, they understand this, but like a lot of times when you play a new instrument or buy a new instrument, like there's songs in there and they just have to come out. And so this was one of the songs that came out of one of those ukuleles. And, um, and like I say, I didn't write it with any intention in mind. It was just, uh, something that kind of came out and felt good and, um, never would have dreamt that it would end up on my, my first Christmas record, but it, uh, it, it turned out great. We had Jake Shimabukuro come in and play ukulele on it. He's like world renowned ukulele player. And, um, Ho'o Kena, uh, came in and, and did some vocals on it. And this is the second time I've, I've had them join me and they're just incredible. So they just bring a, a credibility to, to that kind of music. And what was your wife's reaction the first time you played the full song for her? Um, you know, she, she was pretty impressed. You know, it was, uh, you know, she loves that kind of stuff. And, you know, our, our favorite TV show to watch is, you know, the, the reboot of Hawaii Five-0. <laughs> that, that was actually her Christmas present last year was like the full set, like all 10 seasons on uh, DVD. On DVD yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're, we're making our way through it again. I see 60 seconds really quick. Uh, pop some headphones on. 
It's the 60 second song challenge. I'm gonna play a song and you have to finish the lyrics. It moves really fast. We have our scoreboard of country stars and it's right behind Billy and how they've done in the past. Uh, I believe the record is 10. 12 with Cody Johnson. So we're going to see if you can beat that. I don't have high hopes on this. <laughs> I think you I think you're going to do good. Okay. It's really fast, so if you don't have it just keep just keep going. All right. All right, here we go. As long as a woman said talk about a man. I'm on. I'm real old. What I got on. <laughs> Eight, she's a she's an eight, she's a ten, she's, she's a ten on it. On that red dirt road. Somebody guess what? Nothing. <laughs> no when to fold up. No when to walk away. Grandma got run over by reindeer. She said just be nice to the gentleman fancy. And they'll be nice to you. Crazy. So baby, why don't we just dance? If the world had a front porch Like we did back then There's not much time left today Life is a highway And that's a day I'll never forget uh, I've had a barbecue stain on my white t-shirt Yeah! <laughs> See, you got uh, 11! There we go Nice job, yeah. man! We appreciate you hanging out with us. Josh Turner, loving the album, man. Thank you for doing a Christmas album. Yeah, absolutely.